Welcome back again. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare and today I'm going to show you how to clean the Windows registry using a free program called CCleaner. You should have already downloaded this from the Get Started section. Anyways, if you installed it and saved an icon on your desktop, you can get started by double clicking it here or you can look for it in your All Programs list by clicking Start All Programs and finding it here. Either way will work. So there's our main window. And here it shows that I have a new version that must have just came out. I'm going to select no right now. And we're going to go click the registry module here. And these are all the different items in the registry that it's going to look for to clean. I use the default method. I leave everything checked. If you for some reason want to omit something, go ahead and uncheck it. And we'll, next thing is we're going to scan for issues. If you do this regularly, this won't take very long at all. Now I recommend that you clean your registry maybe about once a month, unless you've been adding and removing programs quite often, because that's when the registry starts needing cleaning is when you have programs you've added or removed and there's remnants of those programs that didn't uh, completely get removed and they're still there which can sometimes cause errors or slow down your windows because you might have had a file that was removed but the registry entry was still left there and when you start up Windows the registry is going to look for that file and it's not there and you're either going to be presented with a little nag screen saying that there's a registry error or it might even just slow down the performance of your computer. Anyways, mine is pretty clean here. I only have this one item here. so. The process is still the same whether you have one or a hundred and typically you can use the default selection here and just have everything checked. CCleaner is a very benign registry cleaner. I've never seen it harm a computer. Anyway, so we're going to come down here and click fix selected issues and if you want to back up the changes it's going to make so that you can reverse them in case something went wrong, go ahead and click yes and follow the instructions. I typically say no because I never had CCleaner damage my computer. So I'm going to say no this time and then click fix issue. That's it. Close it. And if you found that you saw hundreds of them show up in the list, you can actually go and do a second round of cleaning. Now I suggest cleaning your registry after you've done a disk cleanup. So usually you're going to run the cleaner, do a disk cleanup. You've already went and removed your unwanted programs. And at the end of all that, go ahead and run the registry cleaner and you'll get your best results that way. Anyways, it came up with zero that time. It's that easy. And if you needed to update the program like this prompted me at the beginning, you can click here, get the new version. It'll take you straight to their website. You can click on download. They have three mirrors now. I'm going to take the one from Pureform, which is direct from their website. After a moment, it'll pop up here. And I'm just going to run it. I'm not even going to save it. I'm just going to run it from my browser. So I guess this video you're going to get how to clean the registry and how to update CCleaner in one shot. And it's almost done here. It's going to run my security scan on the download. If you want to check the downloads, I was going to say click view downloads. Anyways, here's the program. Now I'm going to click OK. Next. I agree. I don't like to clutter up my context menu and if you do like it to automatically check for updates like it did when I opened it leave that checked. Click install and if you want to read the release notes click view release notes and we can go run it again. Now that we have the new version let's go see if it picks up anything new. Maybe they added some new program that it cleans up that the old version didn't have. As you noted, to clean Firefox, it needed me to close it first, so I did. Now look, there's 82.6 it cleaned. Let's scan for issues. Nothing. Well, that's it. We're good. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare. Thank you, and bye-bye.